Oh. Oh, I'm tired. Hello all. Had a long day today. Uh, I spent a good part of, the, of today at the Explore Dundee bus depot. And let's uh, they had an opening day for the public. Um, <clears throat> it, was a, it was good. I enjoyed it. Uh, quite a lot of uh, reasonable turnout. Good turnout. Uh, what I did notice was that they, um, they had uh, a pale ale. <laughs> made with the company name. That's the big show that I was at today and we have this Pale Ale, Explore Dundee Mars to Spot, no, Mars to Spot Pale Ale 4%. Now I never even knew they'd done that. <laughs> I saw it the day in the, uh, in the stalls like and I uh, thought okay, well, I'm gonna buy it and try it, try it out. I'm going to drink the beer for the, um, it's named, named after the company that I actually work for. I drive buses for Explore Dundee and uh, I'm going to uh, test, well I'm going to taste it, I'm going to test it out. I've never drunk this before so I'm going to do a video just telling you what I, what I think of it and what it tastes like and try to explain it. It's done with the Two Towns Down Brewery and it's, uh, I think it's in Paisley, if I, if I recall correctly. Um, been a brewery for quite a while, since 1921, but they've specially brewed this beer for the, uh, they specially brewed that beer for this event, this uh, opening day, which is, <laughs> I mean, I, I never knew that until I went there. I was like, what? Good grief. So uh, I'm going to try it out anyway. Um, so I'm going to pour it in a glass and I'll let you know what I think of it. <laughs> so this is just uh, a closer up view of the um, can. So I believe it will just be a, a limited edition because it was only brewed for this um, for this event. So in the 2024, Saturday the 4th of May 2024, explored on the bus opening day. So um, it's very limited. Uh, they were even selling it on draft at the place, <coughs> down at the depot. I mean, I don't know if, they, if we could get this online or not. I've not really checked. But um, I'm sure I'm sure going to wait to try it anyway. That there's the a sketch of the Dundee's v &A Museum, and. You got the city, uh, no, the, 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 you got the Discovery Point. That's the Discovery Point ship, which is also sketched onto the design of the can. Uh, that's the McManus. Oops, sorry. That's the McManus Gallery. It's sketched, McManus Gallery Museum. Uh, oh no. Uh, so. What's that? And you've got a couple of buses sketched on as well. That's the electric bus, BYD fully electric bus. And that'll be the, that's actually the uh, Enviro 400. Alexander Bess Enviro 400. But it's not the, I th uh, that's not the latest one. The latest one is the Alexander Dennis Enviro 400 MMC. That's the earlier version. That's just the Enviro 400. That's the electric BYD chassis, uh, fully electric, but the bodywork's done by ADL Alexander Dennis Limited uh, in Falkirk, in Scotland. Falkirk, town of Falkirk in Scotland. That's the body builder. Uh, I believe there's another body builder somewhere else. Um, Alexander, I only thought there was a one, but there's another one somewhere uh, down south. But. Anyway, this is the flavoursome pale air was created for the Explore Dundee Big Bus Show and, and neutral yeast and soft milk fuel allows the showcased hops to shine through. Unfiltered, unfined, blah de blah. So it's uh, 
That's the brewery logo. And that's the name, Two Towns, uh, Two Towns Down Brewery. Or Brewing, Two Towns Down Brewing. And uh, I think it's in Paisley. Oh, maybe just have to recheck that in a minute. But I'm sure that's what she says. Because uh, I saw it, I was just asking my book then, and sure that they said it was from uh, Paisley. Oh, there's a maybe photo shot of that before I uh, open up this can. Use it as a thumbnail. I'm just doing a wee sort of uh, online search. The two town, uh, two towns down Brewery, 47 Bark, Sneden Street, Paisley. Yeah. So I've never been to this. I might actually go there someday and have a uh, visit it. Um, I've never been to oh, like a beer fest shop. Yeah. So I don't know, you might be able to order it online or something, I'm not sure, but it's definitely in Paisley anyway. So the moments of truth, I'm going away to uh, try out this beer. So I've poured some in a glass, uh, uh, that's to show you the, just the colour of it. Um, it smells okay. Uh, so I'm going away to uh, try it out now. So I haven't actually sampled it yet. So get this will be my initial reaction when I uh, drink it because I haven't drunk I haven't drunk it yet. So I'm going away to show it firsthand my reaction to this. difficult to describe it's just like a a light ale basically it's uh, I don't know if it's an apple apple I don't know um, I'm not a beer taster I don't have I just I can't really give words to describe it. it's just like a beer I mean if I close my eyes and drank it Kind of bitterish, a wee bit light bitter. Um, apple slightly, I don't know. Um, I'm not a beer expert either, but I just drink the stuff. <laughs> uh, certain beers. Tastes alright, like. Don't know yet. Then I could drink it. Yeah, it's. Uh, Tastes alright. I mean, it's like it's just like a kind of light ale. It's uh, goes down easy enough. Doesn't leave uh, an aftertaste or anything. It's um, <laughs> and as you say, I'm not a beer tester. I I, I don't know what words to to describe. It's just uh, a light ale. It's mm. oh, I can just put my feet up and uh, enjoy this. Watch a video. Yeah, it's, it goes down quite well. It's not bad at all, to be fair, in my opinion. And this is only just my opinion. It's drinks all right. It doesn't leave any real bitter taste. Slightly bitter. Um, it's not overly frothy or anything. It's a light lager, <coughs> like a lager, light type kind of. Yeah. It's not. I mean, I, see, I, like, I drink Bellhaven Best. That's my favourite. I don't drink a lot anyway, but when I do, my favourite beer is Bellhaven Best. And it doesn't have any real similarities to that. Bellhaven Best is more a frothy, creamy-like taste. A lovely beer. Whereas that is more of a lighter, fizzier, light lager type beer. Or ale, pale ale. And it... It just goes on quite well. It doesn't leave any bitter taste in my mouth like some uh, real heavy ales. You get a really heavy, strong, lingering taste left over when you swallow it down. That's like, it kind of reminds me of, I don't know, it goes down a wee bit like tenants in a way. I, 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 that's just to say, I know a beer drinker as such. I, I don't really have the words to describe it. I just, 
I suppose it reminds me of a lager tenants, perhaps. Foster's as well, maybe slightly. Um, Appleish, I don't know. I thought Apple came to mind the hint of it, but I don't know. I don't know the ingredients in it. But um, first time I've drunk it, and it's sure is a novelty for me anyway. Uh, so I'm going to reserve some because I'll be drinking it all. I'm going to keep some for uh, when I watch the, a video I've got to uh, to uh, check through. I'll just finish off that can. So the uh, price of it was, for the can, they were selling them at £5 per can. It is, the, the, looking for the millimetres, milli, millimetres in it. I'll have to go check it's all dropping the blooming thing. But they were also selling them in cases of three for £15, if I recall correctly. <coughs> but I paid £5 for just the one. I could have got a case. I maybe wish I should have done now. Because it's alright. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's written right on it. <laughs> right under the ale. It's. I'm going to end up dropping the skin and doing too much filming as well. Should never film and drink. <laughs> it's 440 mils. Which is a pint. Is the imperial pint? A pint, I don't know. A pint is 568 mils. 568 mils is a pint. But you get cans, <clears throat> the big cans, it used to be 500 mils, which is metric or something, isn't it? Half a litre. Imperial pint, 568 mils, I, I, something like that. But that's 440 mils. So it's, you could compare it, a pint's 568, well, that's 440, that's the size of can. So, I don't know what they were drafting it at, at the place, because they were drafting it as well. That's actually really quite nice. Uh, yeah, they were drafting the place, the, the beer down at the place. Probably just in this summer, like, uh, plastic container. I didn't drink any down there, obviously, because it was driving later on. But uh, anyway, that beer, I just drank there, a pale ale, is to... Was specially brewed for this event. Now, I've done a video on my channel uh, of the event. I'll probably be right before this, actually. <laughs> um, I'll put a link in the description anyway, because I've done a full video regarding the big bus show at the, down at the Explore Dundee bus depot. That's where I work. <laughs> I drive the buses, so it's a busman's holiday for me. Uh, I brought my mates down as well, so they liked it. So. But that's where that beer's for. So, um, like I say, I don't know. I've not been on the website. I've never even heard of them until today. So I might actually get down there at some point and maybe have a look around at a shop and make a video of it, if, if, uh, if possible. But yeah, quite good. Quite nice. Right, uh, I'll, put a link in the, I'll put a link in the description to this video for the video I made regarding this big bus show. Uh, and vice versa, I'll put a link in the description on this bus video. Uh, a link to this beer video that I'm making now. So you'll have a link to each videos in the description, basically. <laughs> because they're interconnected. It's a spin-off. This is a spin-off to the main video of the big bus show down at the... Uh, down at my depot, the Explored the bus depot. Because it's owned by McGill's. Um... Prior to that, it was owned by National Express, but when they bought over, uh, the the name changed. Um, but they were, they were bought over by my girls in 2020. So, I'm going to uh, finish off that beer watching video and I'll get this video compiled up, put online. So that was it, just a short video, just to show you the, the beer that I've, for say, I was surprised when I saw that. So I've tasted the company, the bus company that I work for, in terms of beer. And so it tastes all right. And uh, the, did I give you the alcohol percentage? It's four uh, percent. I don't know if that's coming out clear on there, but it's four percent alcohol as well. So I'll just give you an idea of the strength of this uh, pale ale. Okay, right. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now.